Well, hello, hello, welcome back. I'm Claire, this is Purple Poppy, and today is our Saturday Advent Stitching. Oh, wow, right. So, we have got, sorry about the noise. Wow, that's fabulous, isn't it? And then this sort of a very pale apricot color, along with that poppy red. got beautiful silver grey we have got oh another one of these templates this one is the seven treasures we've got that one sorry the lights on it isn't it whoops put them on the floor and then we have got turquoise blue. Almost the fuchsia type pink. And a lemon. Okay, well, I'm going to do one of these. So, what do we need? We really only want one colour. But I suppose we could cheat. We could do four colours, like, on a tile, couldn't we? So, I must have that one. <laughs> and I think I must have that one. Um, so, if we go the top two there. And then maybe the yellow and the pink no that doesn't work does it it's got to go that way we use those four colors or do we want the blue no that's too pale because we're going to be stitching on white so we're going to use those four um i've got some old duvet here it's just white cotton so we'll get a pen and we'll draw this on. Sorry, I've been very rude. I've rushed ahead and not asked. How are you all? Are you happy, safe and well? How's your week been? Okay, so here we go. There isn't really a right and a wrong side. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to take my blue pen. Now, of course, it depends on how you look at this. Because if you look at it as a tile, you've got like four crosses in the petals. But you've also got one, two, three, four circles if you don't do the outsides. So do you know what? I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do... The four circles it just means we've got you know two different ways of using it and again I'm sure that when I stitch this I won't be doing proper sashiko in any shape form or description I'm just gonna do the four entangled flowers I think and of course the argument is you can line it up and just keep going so you could do as you know big a size as you wanted to and obviously if you were doing this on the traditional indigo whoops indigo thread then you'd be using a white marker be it chalk or ink so that you could see where you were going do you know what I'm thinking now? I've said about using them for four threads. I'm wondering now about doing these four circles in the red and then maybe doing that one leaf that comes off of each one in silver. 
So I'm going to change my mind and I'm going to use them two. I'm going to do the circles in red and then I will lay it back over and draw on the leaves to do in the silver because I think if I draw it on all, all on now I'm going to get confused. So there's my four circles. Ah, now you see I knew this would happen because I didn't need that line did I? So I'm going to scribble through that because that line would only be there if we carried on going and did another circle up there. Do you see what I mean? So I've scribbled through that. I'm not going to use that. Right, now the red is obviously the same sheepies and it's 192. So I'm going to slide this out of here. Love it. Lovely colour. Find our end, which is there. Give ourselves a nice length of thread. I'm going to get the needle <coughs> threaded up and we're going to stitch away. So, and then obviously tomorrow I'll be back with the heirloom calendar. I know that's been really popular with a few of you. I don't know if it's because we're just enjoying watching it come together or if um, oh, I can't thread this needle now of course or whether you're considering maybe getting one for yourself for next year the reason bought a different needle this week because if you remember last time we did this I said it would probably be easier to have there you go the straw needle that had the even flat didn't have the bulbous eye um, so that's what I've done oh we want some wadding there before you start Right, let's work out where we're going to have this. So, I want it too big. So we go about there. And then it's about an inch. So there. Okay. And then just a little bit off the top, about there I think. Until I'm excited to get it done, <laughs> I'm like, oh, let me at it. Right, so a little bit of wood in. Just overhang a little bit so that it's marginally smaller. lose my stencil because we're going to need to work with that again in a minute to do the silver ones there we go okay and we are good to go so I'm going to start here and make sure I've got so we haven't even started and I've got a knot. It's not it's not good. And I know you're all gonna tell me it's because my thread is so long, but as you say to the children, we've discussed this before. <laughs> so in and out in and out in. Now and in, so 
it's just a standard running stitch and then your needle is full up which I think is going to be like these two lines and as I said before the Sashiko needles are very much longer now I'm just going to push it down and pull it through okay it through there we go and then just straighten it out a little bit there we go so it's so quick really back up through there so that we can complete this one circle I had a lucky eBay haul arrive yesterday. I was bidding on and managed to win uh, a box of assorted vintage linens. Um, some of them are those trade oily things, um, you know, where they've got delicate cut work on them, um, napkins, some have been embroidered, so I've had them in soak to get them nice and clean and smelling good and then um, you can see whether they are going to get added to journals, there we go, or whether they are going to um, know be stitchery so now I'm going to come back up there and do that circle that's at the top I'm watching um, a new lady on YouTube and it's very bad because I shouldn't say this because now I can't remember her name properly her name is Claire but I can't 100% remember name of her channel I'll try and look it up and um, put it in the comments for you but she does some beautiful slow stitch artwork um, and the reason I'm thinking of her now is because one of the pieces she did that I really admire is um, a series of circular stitches on top of I think it's three different pieces of fabric and you know I mean don't get me wrong I know that sounds quite simple and I know that other people have done it because I've seen it done before but there's something in the way she's done it and the colours that she's used that just make it that little bit more special and I loved it and I thought do you know what I must have a go at that <laughs> but also then it got me watching her channel and she's got some lovely stuff and ideas so yeah I will pop it in the box for you now I can hear because as always I'm filming ahead I can hear that the rubbishmen are coming down the road so I'm really sorry if a boo starts barking in a minute because she likes to uh, rubbishman even less than she likes the postman <laughs> right so i know i've gone into single stitch now this is what happens you see when i'm talking so let's get back on the program claire and do your complete run as you're supposed to be doing Can't grab my thread now. 
some reason. See, so now we've got two of our circles. Where am I? I'm down here. So we'll do this third one from here. And I know that this obviously means that I've changed the pattern and it's not the seven treasures that it was. But I'm okay with that. I'm just put in, you know, your little touch on it, isn't it, really? And the fact that I'm doing red on white, you know, it's, it's all wrong, really, isn't it? But I don't care. I'm having fun. I'm enjoying my new toys. And that's all that really matters to me. I'm too old now to worry about what other people think. And when you're as old as I am, you feel like you've got a right to break the rules. <laughs> Only some of them, obviously. I mean, do you want to start running around breaking the law and getting yourself into all sorts of trouble? <laughs> Goodness me. I can imagine being the reason for a load of old ladies running amok. <laughs> Alright, so then I've gone over to that other circle and we'll follow this line round. Mind you, you know what they say. Well behaved women don't get necessarily don't necessarily get remembered. <laughs> you must have seen the um, Amazon if you're in the UK. I don't don't know about America, but um, you must have seen the Amazon advert on the TV with the old ladies um, tobogganing down the hill. Yeah, that's me. That is <laughs> more importantly, I would been the instigator just say you know life's too short you can hear the chinking of glass bottles rubbish on the outside that means B must be well and truly asleep because she's not made a single sound which is unheard of when rubbish men come So, talking of rubbish, I know it's not the nicest subject in the world, but they recently introduced a new system here where I live, in that, you know, we've got the three different collections, as it were. The general waste that goes in the black bags, the recycling in the clear. We've always had those two, but they've now introduced these food boxes. And in doing so, Every week they take the food box, food waste box, but they also take one bag or one type of bag, not just one bag. So if it's general waste week, they take the black bags and the food box. And if it's recycling week, they take the recycling bags and the food box. And this has been going on now for at least five months. So it's newish, not new. And this morning, when I put the rubbish out, it was the first time that as I looked up the road, all the bags that were out with the food boxes were the right colour. There you go, that's pretty, isn't it? Now, you might ask, why do you care? Well, the reason I care is because if it's recycling week, as it is this week, and people put out black bags, they don't take them. And for some reason, people don't take them back indoors. Consequently, what happens is those black bags sit there all week, and gradually, foxes and cats and what have you... Right, let's move this up a bit, because I think I'm off screen. I'm going to lay this back on top 
um, yeah, foxes and rabbits and what have you. Uh, rabbits, foxes and cats, and whatever, anyway. I even saw a dog the other day. Um, they come down the road, they pull open the black bags and stuff ends up all over the road. So for a whole week, the street looks like a nightmare. Now the first couple of weeks when it started, they sent an extra person round on, I think it was a Thursday, to clear up this aftermath. Well, of course, they're not going to keep doing that every week because that costs money. So I am so excited this morning to see that all the white bags are out, which means we're not going to have a load of rubbish all up and down the street for a week. Could I? Little things that please me. Ta da! So now we're going to stitch those four leaves in silver. That was my plan. Put that one on there. And the silver is. Du -du 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 74. So. Oh, needle. Thought I'd lost my needle. Right. Is that my end? Yeah. So. We obviously only need half as much as we had last time. Because we didn't use it all last time. And we're doing less stitching. So, let's get this in here. goodness me but I must admit it, doing this with the <clears throat> these little stitches which are probably big to a lot of people because I was involved in a stitchery swap recently as you may know and the size of some of those tiny stitches that people sent through made me almost ashamed I think these are little but compared to them these are ginormous Oh, goodness me. Hang on one second. Let's get this needle threaded. There we are. Oops. See? The minute I... Oh, now I've split the thread. And that's really annoying. I think we're over it. There we go. Right. Um, sorry, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, yeah, then those tiny, tiny little stitches. Goodness me. Anyway. So. because I've got that weird bit of thread at the front it's um catching its way through okay I'm gonna have to run my iron on I so that we can iron off these blue pen marks and see what our little beauty looks like so, let me let me plug in the iron so that it can be getting warm and ready for when we need it. There we go. So uh, we were at my youngest daughter's yesterday. She had requested theatre tickets for her birthday, which we got for her. 
and yesterday was the day of the show so her and hubby went off to London and Nanny and Grandad entertained the children um, it's always lovely to spend time with them but I've got to be honest and say it wears you out or it wears us out <laughs> I suppose that's an indication of how unfit we are I mean Grandad was playing football in the garden with them at one point <laughs> I was like oh my goodness this is not going to end well but it was okay Sorry, I know I've gone quiet. You get to a stage where you're like, I'm just out of words. <laughs> just out of words. Okay, penultimately, I mean, don't get me wrong, I could sit here doing this all day, but I'm sure you would rather be getting on with your own life. So. Christmas Eve tomorrow. What is that all about? Um, as I say, I am filming ahead, so I will be filming the Christmas vid uh, Christmas Eve, which is uh, Advent Ellen Advent the Ellen calendar, which is um, meant to be Christmas Eve. I'm obviously going to film it early. And I doubt you guys will be watching it on Christmas Eve. I'm sure you've got something. I don't know what that is. I think it's a bit of wadding. I'm just going to try it on. You'll have more important things to do with friends and family. But just in case you are wanting to watch it, I'll make sure it's up when it's supposed to be up. And then it doesn't matter, does it? You can watch it well, well into the new year if that's what ends up happening. Because it definitely won't, this heirloom calendar definitely won't be finished for Christmas. I've still got lots and lots to do with it. But that's great. I don't mind that because, you know, it can be used next Christmas you know it does come every year after all um, and it does mean that I feel like I'm getting hours and hours of entertainment for my money so you know that's that's all good um, I will do the Christmas Eve advent and then I'm going to take be a week is it ish off and then I'll come back to you in the new year spend that time with friends and family as I'm sure you will be oh look we've got a neat little square going on there 
Um, so yeah. There you go. There it is. Uh, adapted <laughs> Seven Treasures Sashiko Square. Yeah, all the ink's off. And we can see her. Oh, I had a lovely crease in there, but never mind. The ink's off, we can see her in all her glory. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. And obviously, if I lay this over the top, you'll be able to see that by missing those internal lines, that's how I got that shape. As always, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you found some joy and inspiration. If you're not going to come and see tomorrow's video, I hope you have a fantastic Christmas and I look forward to spending time with you next year. Stay safe. I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye for now.